Welcome to Routing Through. This is the series where I attempt to ride every bus route within a specified region. However, I cannot use any other mode of public transport other than walking between the two services. So, unless I'm getting a bus there or walking to it, I'm not allowed to actually get that route and count it in a series. With me launching the concept in 2023, I decided to start in Greater Manchester alongside the launch of the B Network. And in today's episode... Um, and I'm also trying to question why I chose to sit on this back seat, because as you'll probably know on a metal strata, it's the worst place for the suspension to kick in and ruin your back. I'm going to say it now, that is not opening in a week and a half. There is no way, it's nowhere near finished. Okay, so the 394 is um, a Monday to Friday route and runs for two hours frequency, so it does feel like one of those funded services. I'm gonna just this has got B network stickers. Um, I know that they were doing it in certain uh, the depots that are going to B network, but it doesn't appear that what stagecoach are doing. So I think across the entire Manchester fleet, they're gonna be putting B network stickers on the buses now, um, just to get them out of the way. Um, and I don't know if that's gonna be the case for all operators or just for stagecoach. Welcome to Rooting Through Greater Manchester once again. Roll the intro. Hello boys, girls, and all of my name is Mr. and welcome back to Rooting Through Greater Manchester. You join me having just walked away there from Merseyway Precinct, so I make my way up to the Leyland Street stop here in Stockport. So today's video is going to be based around uh, Stockport. Um, I'm going to be going to a couple of other areas, including Glossop later today, which will be really fun, and finishing up in Hyde. But we are starting here in Stockport, Stockport and sticking around here. The version I'm going to be doing is the 310, which is one of two circles operated by Nexus Move. Now they do use the Exchange Street stop, and of course, with that still closed, as they're finishing off the works for the Stockport Interchange, which is due to open in just over a week and a half, uh, when I'm at the time of filming this, or a week from when you're seeing this, as it opens on March 17th, um, one week before the launch of Tranche 2 of the B network, um, those stops are still not there and they're no longer going to be used when the interchange opens, I believe. So they're temporarily using the stop here. I'm praying this is better than Diamond when we had to eventually change our plans because they didn't stop where they're marked to do so. So, all being well, it does stop there, it looks like it has pulled up and it is actually one of the mail strata. So let's get ourselves on board and get ourselves into today. Okay, join me on board. Uh, starts number 141, which of course is a ticket to fleet number. Um, it's L019 YYF, one of about two or three 19 plate mail strata they have. Um, and we'll give you a little bit more detail about the route when we get further up. So the 310, the 310, is one of two circuits operated by Nexus Move in Stockport and they run seven days a week. They link Edge and Cheadle Heath, Cheadle and Aswood uh, back to Stockport running at an hourly frequency, um, but roughly half an hour apart and there's a half hourly service from Stockport itself. Um, they use obviously minibuses as we already discussed. Nexus Move don't have any full size vehicles, they only use minibuses. Um, and I'm also trying to question why I chose to sit on this back seat because, as you'll probably know, on a metal strata, it's the worst place for the suspension to kick in and ruin your bag. Um, but yeah, so we're just heading to Adswood Park on this when we get down to a little bit about that area. Um, and yeah, it should be a pretty decent day as this is the only metal strata that I'm actually doing for today. Um, and hopefully, the only minibus as well. Aswood Park, this is actually Cheadle Post Office stop. Um, I've jumped off here because I've got a tight connection from the next route, the 312, at uh, five minutes of that stop at Aswood Park. And that's running three minutes late, and the one I'm getting on is running one minute early. So I'm gonna run down to this stop here and get on the 312 from here instead. But Cheadle Post Office is, well, the stop is situated here on this main road. It just lets you off um, right by the sort of local shops and stuff. Um, so it is a good connection point. Um, the 310 and the 312 run here, um, but Cheadle and Cheadle Human, like the yeah, various surrounding areas, are pretty well served as well as Adswood, with the 313 and 368 heading down that way to link uh, the airport and Wibbenshaw, um, respectively. 
um, and of course these two routes, the 309, sorry, 310 and 312 that come through here, um, running into Stockport through local links. Forgive me for a minute. I'm a little bit flustered with today's plan, hence why it might potentially be coming across as a bit rushed. So let me slow down a minute and explain some stuff. So that was the 312. I told you about the route on board there, so that's fine. Firstly, uh, the first thing I missed, the reason I'm a bit rushed, is I have done this plan today. It's a bit of a last minute one. Um, so I'm sort of following it and I've not got an exact idea in my head of what I want it to lay out like. Often when I plan the days, I do it in a way that I have a rough idea in my head as well, looking back at them, hence why I write some notes on little things to mention and stuff. So yeah, basically um, I was on holiday last week, I can't tell you where, um, I'm going to reveal that when the vlogs from there, which I have recorded, do come out. The tiredness from that and then travelling all weekend to come back and stuff like that has left me a bit um, knackered this morning, so I didn't have the energy to vlog by the time I woke up. Now. The day I had planned for today needs me to leave for a specific train um, to get to Manchester on time to do a very specific weekday route. And so, I replanned it for today. The second thing I missed is that 3678 one we were just on, the Enviro 200, um, is an ex Wigan one. Um, one of the ones that was new there, like most of the MX62s. That one, however, was one of the more recent, one of the more earlier transfers. Um, I think it was about, we said this in the Sunday episode, and I did get the date, but I think it was like 2018, 19. Um, a few of them went from Wigan elsewhere. But yeah, that was one of the earlier transfers from Wigan um, to go to Stockport. And that one is quite an interesting one, as it was one of the ones that went to the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, um, obviously with stickers over it. <clears throat> And when it came back from that, I actually went to Merseyside for a short stay before returning here around about June, July, sometime last year. Our next route is going to be sticking with Stagecoach. We're doing the 379, and uh, yeah, it should be a pretty decent one, as it's usually a Trident route, that, so hopefully we have a good journey. However, before we get on the 379, Chino Hume Station Road, which is where we are, um, is situated just a sort of three to five minute walk down that road uh, there, around the corner from Chino Hume Station, hence the name um, has some relevance to it. And obviously from Chino Hume Station there are connections into Manchester via Stockport, but also heading south towards the areas of like Stoke-on-Trent, Macclesfield, Crewe, Wilmslow and so on. Something that I found quite interesting as well when we were at Cheadle Post Office, which by the way was not the one in Cheadle Village, it's the other one, there's two and they're both on that route as well, which is confusing, is that the planes come really low, not just there, but quite a lot of the areas around here. As the Manchester Airport is not far away. Anyway, I think that's going to be the only big bit of rambling for today, except for one of the routes later. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can do cracking on now with the more snappy clips, as I know the last one didn't have that. Okay, so for our journey on 379, it is 19230, which is great. It means it's a 192 Trident, which are some of the best ones in Manchester. And I do think I briefly mentioned this in a previous episode, but these actually may not be going as soon as we thought, um, due to potential... No. Due to uh, the 
rough start of Charge 2, uh, companies like Stagecoach are actually keeping a lot of the older vehicles in fleet for at least a year um, and will be bringing them up, at least some of them up anyway, um, one of our, probably the more reliable ones will be, um, before they then remove them from service, just to make sure there's enough vehicles for the operation. So yeah, these might not be going as quickly as we thought. I'm now at Stockport once more. Um, I have had time to just quickly get a drink and do a clip as well. Um, so we're just heading over to Heaton Lane bus station now. We're going to be heading over now to get on the 384, which is one of the stagecoach routes around here um, from Stockport Heaton Lane bus station. So yeah, I'll see you on board that. It's a big of everything on there today from the looks of it. So we might be getting a try, we might be getting something else. Who knows? So Stockport Heaton Lane bus station, we've actually covered this properly in the series. So as, as you know, there's a lot of temporary terminus points here in Stockport while they build the interchange, which does open, as I said before, about a week and a half's time. Stockport Heaton Lane bus station is like the main terminus point at the moment um, because of that. So this one is temporary, but it doesn't actually look it though. If you look at it, it does look quite permanent almost. They've basically bolstered it onto the outside of this sort of car park here. And they do actually have automatic gates on all of them as well. So it is pretty good for a temporary bus station. But the new interchange is looking pretty impressive. But as you'll see from this clip here, if you look on when I was on the 310 coming out of here before, the 310 out of here before, you'll notice that the walkway from the station to the bus station, which will be a thing, it doesn't look very finished. So I have a sneaking suspicion it might open the bus, the interchange when they've said so, but the connection will open a bit later. Okie dokie, so our next one is another Trident. It's 19417 this time. And we're doing this on the 384 as far as Marple. It's one of the MX-58. And again, I'll tell you a bit more about the route around about halfway on. Okay, so Marple 
navigation acts as a sort of bus hub for the area of Marple. Um, it's named after the pub just down the road um, and through here as well as the route we've just been on, of course you've got the 383 in the other direction, you've got the 358, the 385 and the 394 as well. We're doing the 385, the 385 next back into Stockport. Now I did plan my day slightly wrong at this point. Um, I had it that we were only waiting here for a short time but we're not so it will be a bit of a wait but um, it's not too bad because once we've done this way and then another one in Stockport which I can now use to get lunch we'll then be back to sort of more frequent journeys but we're going to be doing some interesting routes from this point so hopefully um, it does provide some good content. But the 385 is run by D&G Bus which of course is an operator I'm very familiar with and it's going to feel weird running riding this route finally as I've not done this one yet so uh, yeah I'll give a bit more details about the vehicle and the route when we get on. and see the comments about TFGM you know so just to give you an idea I was just looking at this map because the route we're about to go on does a sort of circuit around here and if you look on here it says 375 I went oh that's wrong technically not but it is it hasn't got 385 on it that's because this map is from July 2022 but before you think that's funny this is from April 2023 telling you where the stops are and then you think that's funny enough the timetables are from the 17th of February this year why don't you just update the whole lot when you do each one just thinking okay, I'm on 130, and I don't know if you remember this, but this is the bus we had for the NG bus last time we had them in the series when we did the 88 up to Altrium. And this is one of the YJ60 plates, one of a few they've got, I think three left now, um, which were new to go Goodwins, hence the sort of bluish seats. This was the Goodwins maquette at the time. Um, they are also fitted with air horns, although some of them have had those disconnected, but it is funny because I do know that they do work on at least a couple of them, or used to anyway. Um, I do quite like this batch, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the 385, which has quite an interesting history as we get further along. Surprisingly, it's actually quite warm on the buses today. It's not so much 
boiling or very warm outside, but because the sun's quite bright today and strong, um, it is quite warm uh, on, the ins on the inside of the buses, so it's nice to have this vent behind them. Grand Central. I did cover that when I did the uh, Stockport route, the 391 or 2, I can't remember which one I did now, but when I did that up to here. Um, so we're now going to quickly, because um, I've actually slightly mistimed that one originally, so we're now having, well, about 50 minutes here. So I'm going to pop off, get some lunch, I just need to get some paracetamol because I'm getting a bit of a headache, so that's driving up the wall. Um, but yeah, so I'll join you guys in a bit when we're going to do a rather specific, well not rather specific, rather interesting circular, um, which I think, I want to say is the only route operated by Stott, so I'm going to check that now while I'm getting some lunch, and I'll double, I'll confirm that when we get on board it. I'm going to say it now, that is not opening in a week and a half. There is no way, it's nowhere near finished. Um, but yeah, I think maybe TFGM is slightly pushing them on that because they want it ready for tranche 2. I wouldn't have done that, I'd have let it be built properly because if there's one thing you want to do is not just build a new interchange for Stockport, it's make one that actually lasts. So um, hopefully they still do a decent job with it. It does look good, it's just there's a lot of it that's not finished. The road is still fully unpaved. Uh, again, that walkway is not finished at the station. There is still some elements of the building as well that don't look fully finished. Um, for the main part, that building there behind Luke literally hasn't even had the front the outside panels put on yet. That is not opening in a week and a half, there's no way. Okay, so our next one is uh, SK22BVD, which does have the ticket to fleet number of uh, 67 for Stops Tours. This is on the route 364, which again, as I said, I think it's the only route in Stop Port operated by Stops Tours. I didn't check that much, but we'll check in a bit. Um, but yeah, it's one of these, so it's like a newer, new variety of treasure MCs, but this one does sound like it's one of the nippy ones. Hopefully, that will help us with the uh, fact that we are starting about nine minutes late. Is the Sainsbury's in Stepping Hill? I know that's a big surprise, but it is literally just across the road and slightly down a bit from Stepping Hill Hospital, which is quite a large site, um, and I'll explain a little bit more about it um, shortly. But um, from here, at this stop specifically, you can change for a lot of routes like the 385 and stuff, which head up to Maylor, um, and stuff like that, the 199 Skyline up to Buxton. You've got plenty of connections from here. Um, the 192, and that also goes into Stepping Hill Hospital specifically. And where we're going in Stepping Hill Hospital is a turning circle, which is used by the terminating 192s on their short runs. So, the um, site of Stepping Hill Hospital, it's a large hospital, quite a large one in general, um, and it's actually to the size where there is quite a lot of services offered by Stepping Hill Hospital for the surrounding counties to the south of Greater Manchester, so like Cheshire, um, High Peak, and so on. And speaking of Stepping Hill Hospital, ambulances go past you here. Um, but yeah, and so, with that in mind, so as far south as like Macclesfield, there are services offered by Stepping Hill Hospital that are more advanced, obviously, um, than some of the hospitals down there can achieve. But anyway, we're going to head now round the corner, get the one, the sorry, the next route, which is the 394, which is a very specific and awkward route, and I'll tell you more about why that's the case when we get on board. So I just seen something interesting. So I was going to get a clip of it, but I thought because I thought it was a mistake, and I thought now nah, I won't bother. The bus we were just on, the driver changed the blind to the 807. Now. That's fine, because it's a route they do, and I thought maybe you just put the wrong number on. Turns out, what's happening at the moment, I don't know if it's like a permanent change or 
or what, but it's not been advertised anywhere because where we've been looking, the timetable is still showing correctly um, to what it should be. And that is the bus we just came on, it still does the full route. Um, and then the next one after that is the, six, the 1550, and then the 1650, which runs a shorter service. And that's the end of the day. However, the 1550 um, won't be running because it's buggered off. That bus has only gone up to where we got off, then is going out of service to do the 807 school route. How bizarre. I'm going to double check that that is not advertised anywhere because if it is, that is a bit dodge. Yeah. Okay, and it does turn out that you can actually use the Anybus to get on here. I was about to get myself ready to potentially spend £2 on a single, but welcome aboard 281, which is one of High Peak's older model of Solo. This is a YJ11 example, uh, YJ11 EKV for those curious. It does carry the newer livery as well. This one has had a little bit of work done to it as well, I've been told. So yeah, we're on this on the free guide, but I want to tell you a bit more about the route later on. Henry Street here in Glossop is sort of the main bus hub. They all sort of run from these three stops here. Um, and while it sounds like a random place, it is actually just a, literally next door there, as you can see, to the train station, and that's pretty much its main purpose. Uh, from here, there are services to various locations, including Buxton, a couple of local circulars, and of course, Stepping Hill. Um, but there is, a, oh, and there is a limited service, because um, there's a service to Ashton, um, and then one of those services, I think like really late at night, does actually go to Manchester City Centre. What we're going to be riding is the 341, which links the area to Hyde bus station. So I'll see you when we get on board that. And our final bus of the day is KX15 BLM, which has the fleet number on ticket 052 for stops travel. Um, and this one is our final bus of the day. As I said, this KX15 is actually not what I was expecting. I thought KX might be like an ex-motor um, bus. No, this one was actually new to National Express for higher work and stops boarding around about 2020.
sole link between two locations, in this case Glossom and Hyde. Um, there is no other service between the two locations in a direct form. Um, and so it is still quite a key service and despite being quite windy in some respects and going through some pretty tight areas it does still take less than an hour similar to the 394 we came here on now en route it runs via Simonley, uh, Gamesley, Charlesworth, Broadbottom and Hattersley and uh, yes it does go through past Broadbottom station it is the only route to do so in fact um, and again it takes just under an hour in all it's run by Stotts and it is quite an interesting little route and uh, yeah it's just a nice run basically these two routes the last two we've done have been absolutely gorgeous some of the views have been spectacular and at this time of the year the evening sun makes those views even more pretty and i do love that Okay, you join me at home. So this is a while I've been editing this. So, um, unfortunately, in a similar case to the a uh, few episodes ago, about episode five or six, um, my head basically went south on the day. I'm not too sure what causes it, but sometimes when I'm out, um, I do sort of start to switch off mentally. And where G was joining for quite a few episodes in a row, I think that didn't happen as much because she was there to sort of keep me, you know, happy and stimulated and stuff. Um, so. With that in mind, I've decided I'm going to scrap the final clip from this video and redo it here. So initially I didn't even film Hyde Bus Station at all, I completely forgot to do so. Um, and then I also forgot that I was actually meant to finish the vlog and I ended up recording another route thinking, oh, I'll just record this route then because I've got on. But instead what we're going to do is scrap that. So I will cover Hyde Bus Station when I'm there next, as I'm going to be going there in an episode not too long from now, about four or five episodes from now anyway, as I am planning on doing an episode around there and Ashton, and we're going to be covering a lot of the changes around there, as obviously um, Tameside will be going under B Network in Tranche 3, which means that Stotts Tours will still be going, so we're going to cover a lot of their vehicles while we're on that episode. Enough of that, in today's episode we started out with the 310 on a Nexus Move Melostra, so I know I said Stotts Tours, that was a bit of annoying, an annoyance. Um, then we went from the 310 to the 312 by Stagecoach for a short run, we did that from Adswood Park up to uh, Cheadle Hume Station Road, and then from there we boarded the 379, our first try at the video. And then after the 379, I quickly grabbed a drink, and we jumped on the 384 up to Marple. Then from Marple, we did the 385 back down from there into Stockport again, so we then went in back to Stockport. From there, we then jumped on to the 364, which was the only route around the area operated by Stotts Tours. And then we did the 394 from Stepping Hill Hospital, after a short walk from Stepping Hill Sainsbury's. And then we rounded off the day there with the 341, operated by Stotts Tours. And I did go down there to Hyde Bus Station, but this clip, of course, has taken that, pl that place. Regardless of this slightly rushed ending, um, I do hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. I know they're coming out a bit longer at the moment. I am going to do my best to cut it down. This one I had to explain that 385 as well, so that did add to it. But the next one is planned out properly, so we should all be good. And it will be from the area that I quite like the most in Manchester. It will be Salford, including a lot of Salford Keys, which is my favourite area there, Salford Keys. And for that one, she will be joining us um, as I wanted an episode with her. And I'll explain more about why I wanted her there on the day. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please do like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below, any feedback. And if you do subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Thank you all very much for watching. I've been Lisa Michaela, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.